Right, I've been seeing something very disturbing that needs to be addressed. Israel does not own the U.S. There's a reason why we call the American empire, which again, Americanism and America, like Zionism and the Zionist state, is a violent colonial, settler colonial project and a violent occupation of Turtle Island. And there's a reason we call America the belly of the beast, because Israel does not own America. The United States of America is the locus of imperial power and colonial domination and exploitation. The Zionist state serves as a client state of U.S. empire. Like, come on, let's, it's really important that we understand this. Who do you think bankrolls the Zionist state? Who's paying for this genocide right now? It's the American empire. It is not that Israel is just convincing the U.S. and the U.S. just has their hands tied. The reason this is problematic is because this framework exonerates American empire. And they're able to say, oh, no, it's not us. It's them. They control everything. It's, it's so simplistic. It's so not grounded in reality. And this is the issue of having a single issue politic of just framing everything through one lens. Oh, the Zionist state is committing genocide, so now the Zionist state controls everything. Y'all, the American empire is funding the Zionist state. The Zionist state serves as a tentacle, as a client state of the American imperial project. And what the American empire is funding in Palestine is not unique to Palestine. The American empire does this in Haiti, Sudan, Congo, in the internal colonies, in Turtle Island in occupied Hawaii, Puerto Rico, like almost every country in South America where the U.S. has destabilized regimes by funding coups through imperial projects, NAFTA, like it's so unserious and it's so not strategic. Because we don't have a chance at winning if we have no ability to analyze imperialism, where power is held, how it's replicated, how these systems work. It's like this framing of the Zionist state controlling the entire world completely exonerates U.S. empire. And the U.S. loves that. They're just like, yeah, it's the, it's the APAC lobby. Like, yes, the APAC lobby is extremely powerful. Absolutely, it needs to be dismantled and composted entirely. And it's not that these Zionists, most of whom are Christian Zionists, just come and convince the American government who just, you know, are like, oh, yeah, you're right. You need to convince us. Like, that's a great idea. Like, who do you think American empire is? They don't need convincing. This is in their strategic interest to aggregate wealth, power, to project power throughout the region, to have an aircraft carrier in the Middle East. It's just like, come on, y'all. Let's try to be serious a little bit. We can't have a single issue politic, which just our only frame of analysis is Zionism. Within that is not even understanding of the ways in which Zionism works. It's like, we need to try to understand imperialism, the way that these struggles are interconnected, the way that the U.S. empire is funding the genocide in Palestine as in addition to U.S. empire occupying Haiti right now, an ongoing process since 1915, the ways in which U.S. empire destabilizes regimes in South America, the way that U.S. empire is complicit in genocide in Congo right now, in Sudan. It's just like, let's read a little bit. Let's take this seriously. Have some resources in the comments.